So when I applied to Stanford, I thought it was paradise. I looked around, I was like, everyone must be so happy. And I could not imagine walking on this campus and feeling sad. I think the reality is our campus is beautiful. There's a lot of things that we're blessed to have, but none of that stuff actually makes you happy if you're not happy. So at first it was a smaller group and it was me and some friends that I had added and then people kept joining and joining and now there's 2,151 people in the group. At the beginning, it was kind of like friends joking about pain, but then it became not joking. When Domino's takes over 30 minutes, like I don't care if it's quality, I just want pizza. Update, the Domino's never came. At Lakeside, when the final straw on a bad week one was late night, not having churros. Out loud on the rickety old futon on the edge of the big green field, full of yellow flowers between 1047 and EBF this afternoon. Sobs eventually turned to laughter. In the middle section of Hewlett 200, during the second hour of my Math 51 final, when I still didn't write anything down, On top of McMurtry, realizing I haven't been the person I want to be, and people I care for have suffered because of that. I'm trying to do better. In the Wilbur laundry room when I got kicked out of the dorms, was threatened to be fined, and already going through some personal stuff. Right now, at Main Quad, because I feel like I'm living three different lives since I can't tell my parents anything, and some of the closest people in my life don't go to Stanford. During a surprise lecture on childhood PTSD, because Stanford professors don't think trigger warnings might be helpful for those sorts of things. In my car, on the fourth floor of Wilbur Parking Garage before falling asleep. Still in the car and missing my last day of classes. In my three hour English class during the five minute break, finding out that my childhood friend died too soon in an accident. Then wiping my tears and heading back into class because I honestly don't feel like I can be a college student and grieve at the same time. In the bathroom at work, because as much as I try to push the pain away, having an identity that I've been raised to believe is wrong terrifies me. Sometimes I forget about the future, but then I'm reminded of it by small acts of love between other people, and it makes me think. I might end up choosing one love over my family's love. And I am terrified of that. I often ponder killing myself because of that. I'm so tired of worrying about the future. Sometimes I don't even want a future. It's a sad day today and my heart aches. So, so much. The reason behind my tears is obscure in this post on purpose. Please understand that I just want to share my pain without having to define it explicitly.